This is Be Real, a new app that is currently number one most downloaded social media app on the App Store. Can it overtake the giants in the industry? Today, we will find out. Be Real is not your normal social media app. Once a day, at a random time, you get a notification. You have two minutes to take a picture of your front camera and selfie camera and then share it. No filters, no likes, no followers, no BS, no ads. Just you and your friends, if you have any. But don't worry, if you don't have any friends like this guy here, there's a discovery tab where you can see what random people are doing. Okay now, let's be real. Why is this app so special? Besides being the most downloaded app on the App Store, it has insane user growth. In April this year, BeReal had 2.93 million daily active users. Last month, in August, it had over 10 million daily active users. And it's growing. BeReal is valued at $600 million and received $30 million in funding. It wouldn't receive that kind of money if investors didn't believe in the app. So what is stopping BeReal to sit with the giants? First, users. Bereal has 10 million users, while Snapchat there has over 500 million. TikTok, 1 billion. Instagram, over a billion. Facebook, over a billion. YouTube, over a billion. In comparison to that, Bereal has just rookie numbers. Get those numbers up, those are rookie numbers in this racket. But Bereal was made in 2020. Facebook was made in 2004. Instagram in 2010 and Snapchat in 2011. It is just a baby to these platforms. Why it has 10 million daily users? What's so special about this app? So I've been using BeReal for like three weeks maybe. There are two tabs, Friends tab and Discovery tab. I don't have any friends who use BeReal so I can't tell you the, like, the full app review. And about the Discovery tab, bunch of random people doing Absolutely random things. Be real has huge flaw. You can't use emojis. You have this real emoji, something real emoji, something like that. I don't know. I took a real emoji to this random person that I found in the discovery tab. Maybe I make some friends in here. Let's imagine I have few friends. They are doing the same things as people in the discovery tab. Pretty random things. You can only comment on the photos. There aren't any message opportunities. And when you scroll through your friends tab, you do that for like maximum five minutes per day. But there's nothing else to do in here. We can conclude that Be Real is boring. This app is boring. And that's the point of Be Real. It's to be boring. It humanizes social media. It shows you the real world, not the glamorous Instagram world where everybody is living perfect life, everybody is perfect, everybody is rich. Everybody is living perfect life and you're living a shitty life. No, Be Real shows you that everybody is just living normal and boring lives. And Be Real is really good for your mental health. Be Real doesn't pressure you to make everything perfect, to show your life in the most perfect way. Make a post that you're doing and continue with your day. How is that not healthy? This is you on Be Real. This is you on any other social media. Of these two clips, which one is, do you think is more healthier? The first one or the second one? New trends make new ways to make money. The question is how to make money on Be Real. Now this is a hard task. You need to be super creative. Like Chipotle, for example. They put free promo codes. Same as e.elf.f cosmetics. That's a good strategy. And that's good for Be Real. Because more and more people are downloading the app to get free promo codes. And more and more companies will hop on the Be Real train because it has over 10 million users. That's a good opportunity for your business. That's also the problem. You don't have access to that 10 million users. Be Real doesn't have standard advertising. More on that soon. Be Real got $30 million in funding. Investors would like their money back. And how will Be Real do that? Because their motto is no ads. 
But all the social media giants started like that, with no ads, and later either them. Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. If they put ads, it would change, be real. It wouldn't have its core values. And that's one of three problems why be real could fail. The first one is that it can lose its identity. And by adding ads, it will lose its identity or adding some features that goes against their core values. But how will they make money? I'm really interested in that. The second problem is be real becomes boring and the hype train leaves. Be real doesn't add any new features. That would make the users uninterested. So be real is in a real problem. They can't add any features that would make them lose its core values but they also need to add some features to keep the app growing. The third problem why Be Real could fail is that the social media giants copy its features. Oh, TikTok copied it? Already? Instagram is working on the feature? Snapchat? Yeah, looks like Be Real isn't unique anymore. Well, let's be honest, it never was unique. In 2013, there was a app called Frontback. The app lets you take a picture with the front camera and back camera, then merge both photos into a single one. They thought they would be like Facebook and Snapchat, so they declined Twitter's funding, which was 40 to 50 million dollars, and two years after that, they shut down. Maybe my favorite part of Be Real is the memories feature. It shows you memories from your First be real to your last be real and you can see how you improved as a person. I mean, I'm gonna look to myself. This is me moving. This is me. My first day of job. This is me traveling. Or if you look at this picture that they took with their 60 year old teacher, it's really sweet. And the memory feature will be good to look in like a few years to see how you improved each day or have you downgraded each day. It will be like the YouTube videos where people took a photo of themselves each day. So will Be Real sit with the giants of the industry? Be Real has a lot of potential. We can see that there is a high demand for this kind of stuff. But if they make bad business decisions, they will end like Frontback and a lot of other wannabe social media giants. So Be Real needs an amazing team. I have a lot of respect for the Be Real development team. They made a unique app and today in this world with over 7 billion people making a unique thing is absolutely impressive. And in social media and app market, making a unique app is simply impossible. Oh yeah guys, do you use Be Real? And now at the end, will it sit with the giants? I don't know. Will it overtake them? I don't know. But. Well, I know that we need to trust the developers.